Hi everybody, it's Miss Angie from the Portage Public Library and today on Simple Snacks with Miss Angie I'm going to show you how to make a frozen yogurt bark. So the ingredients that you'll need for this recipe would be yogurt and for mine I just have a Greek plain yogurt. You'll need some fruit, nuts, or granola for your toppings. You'll need an 8 by 8 inch pan and then you want to line that with parchment paper so you'll be able to pull it out when we're done. So before we start, you want to get your ingredients, make sure your hands are clean, and you're just going to put your yogurt into the bottom of your pan. You can use a spoon, a spatula, and you're going to want about a half inch or so thick. You don't want it too thin that it just falls apart, and you don't want it so thick that you can't break it when it's frozen. So if you have any flavor of yogurt, this would work. Or if you want to take a plain yogurt and maybe flavor it with some honey or some vanilla, give it a little more flavor, you could mix that all in a bowl before you put it in the pan. So we're going to spread it across the bottom. You want to make sure you get your yogurt into the bottom corners and you want to kind of have it pretty even. So if it's kind of too thin, you can see the bottom of your pan, you know you need to spread the yogurt around a little bit more. Alright, so this is pretty good. There's some areas that are a little thicker than others. Alright, so that's pretty good. So you can see that it's just spread on the bottom, kind of like frosting a cake. We're just going to line the bottom. So now here's where you can get creative. You could put fruit chunks, you could use frozen fruit, fresh fruit, dried fruit, you could use granola, maybe you like nuts in your um, yogurt. So for this one, I just took some fresh strawberries and I cut them up and I'm just going to put them on top of my yogurt and push them in a little bit. So you're going to decorate it however you want, whatever toppings you would like to have. And then once you have all of your toppings on, you're going to need to put it in the freezer and at least four hours till the yogurt is frozen. So you can check it after four hours and if it's not quite frozen, you're just going to want to leave it in there until it is. All right. So for this one, I'm just putting my strawberries on. All right. And that's it. You're going to pop it in the freezer for four hours. So now I'm going to go to my freezer and I'm going to get out one that I made earlier and show you what you do. Alright, so this is one I made earlier. You can see I put blueberries on mine. These were frozen blueberries. And then if you watched my granola recipe, I put some granola on top. So it's on parchment paper, so you can leave it on there, and you're really just going to break it into chunks. And that's it. That's frozen yogurt bark. And then that's a snack you can have. So I would store it in a container covered in the freezer, and um, I'd really be interested for you to try this. I'm curious to see what toppings you guys would put on your yogurt. I'm really fond of fruit, but maybe there's something else out there that you would like. So thanks for joining me. I can't wait to see what you guys try. Thanks.